Hi, I'm Susan Walkler, and I'll be teaching a class on Tuesdays from 10 to 2 at MAG. And this class is going to be an intermediate class, which requires people to have an understanding of fundamentals of jewelry making, so soldering, filing, sawing, some stone setting. And what we're going to be doing is coming to elements of design by using multisensory exercises that I will walk you through in the beginning stages of the class. So I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do because there are elements of surprise in all of this. And I want us to be able to get outside the box of how we normally think about something, oftentimes in one or two dimensions, and expand using form and movement, function, texture, color, stone setting, and the richness of the class as part of the outcome. This won't be a project-driven class but it will be the culmination, the jewelry will be the culmination of these exercises that we're going to do. And just because you don't know what we're going to do doesn't mean that it's not going to be exciting. Um, so if you want to get outside of your regular way of doing things and enlist some new uh, design strategies, this will be a unique way of exploring those things, still ending up with beautiful pieces of jewelry. Yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be walking people through these exercises that I use myself, okay. and um, they are going to be drawing on a multi, like I said, a multi-sensory experience. So we'll use pen and paper. We'll close our eyes. We'll use right and left hemisphere um, of um, design. Will, if you're somebody who's very perfectionistic and very precise and you like to measure things really carefully, we will honor that. We'll also help people who want a more organic, lively, um, not sure what it's going to be kind of approach, we'll do that too. I want to have the classroom be a place where people can share their ideas and um, own what they know and share that with each other. What I do know is that nobody's going to end up with the same thing. So you might get the same instruction, but absolutely it's impossible for anybody to end up with the same thing, and I'm excited about that.